Occasionally, this attempt to preserve culture can become a business. In the neighborhood of Hazelwood, there's an unusual small restaurant on 2nd Avenue called Yosha Corner. The style is doing Hungarian country style family home cooking. No additives, no preservatives, everything from scratch, just like the way grandma used to do it. Alex Yosha Bodnar has run this place since 1988. Even the regulars here know it's always best to call ahead and make sure he's open before you go. I was born and raised in Budapest, Hungary, the capital city, and uh, I feel that Pittsburgh uh, is my second home, and I lived in Hazelwood longer than any other place in my life. I found out about him just by driving by on 885 here and seeing the sign, and being of Hungarian descent, of course, I was interested. He answered the phone, and I said, I'd like to come down. He said, getting ready to close, but I'll stay open for you. See you in a few minutes. My husband and I moved here about a year and a half ago, and he just happened to drive by, and knowing that I'm from Hungarian background. I'm, I'm a real challenge for Alex, because I'm a vegetarian Hungarian. This is an oatmeal dough, and this is a whole wheat and oatmeal. As he described it, this is his sort of experiment to, to try to um, understand the people's desire for uh, Hungarian food and the like. I called it a hung, hung, American Hungarian improvisational Hungarian cooking uh, at large, and that's the whole idea is to do traditional and combine the traditional, you know, kind of adjust to the, the American ways too. And some people like it, some people don't. I mean, it's, it's a personal thing like anything else, you know. Oh, it's always good. The langosh I love is one of my favorite things, the flatbread. My grandmother always took care of it for me, you know, and cooked the same kind of a food what Alex cooking here, you know. I always try to make it down here for lunch just to shoot the breeze. Not your pinot mas ate that. It's like that, it's like your one. Bános Laci, te szerette de amit eszel, jó? It's a rare chance that I can actually uh, be in an environment where I can practice uh, the Hungarian language. We start off usually with the langos. Voila, begin. Uh, the Transylvanian goulash is always good. I copied it and tried it at home. <laughs> Finger food, just sort of pass it around. And you can't forget the cucumber salad with the sour cream on top. Food is good. The prices are reasonable. <laughs> so what more can I ask? The owner, it's a big tolerate the owner. <laughs> we all call up Alex and say, we're making a reservation. We're coming down. And if the, if, if the store's not going to be open that day, he'll open it up and we'll come in and he'll make whatever he wants and we'll eat it. The phone number is right on my, uh, my uh, door, above my door, and I'm listed in the yellow pages and the white pages. I don't know how many people know about it. It's a small place, not on the main thoroughfare. You wouldn't necessarily stop here if you were driving by. The, the food is genuine. Alex is the definition of genuine. You have a diverse group of people all very interesting people, but they have one common bond, and that's keeping the Hungarian or Slovak or Croatian or any part of old Hungary's uh, culture and customs alive. To me, to reenact my heritage every day is kind of important. And what's, what's kind of exciting about it is that I, I, I basically focus in on the situation that once you tasted my food, you become part of the family. The mix of food and family and old world cultures can be powerful and delicious. 